All right, let's get back to the trib presidential tribunal that is uh, holding in Abuja. And I have joining me now Celestina Iraha, judicial correspondent, uh, to bring us up to speed with developments. Uh, Celestina, it's good to have you join us now. Uh, can you bring us up to speed with the developments from the presidential election tribunal? Okay, Mike, uh, the tribunal has commenced sitting and for today we take just three petitions. Uh, the chairman of the tribunal noted that they have, although they have five petitions before them, but to save time and to quickly decide on this petition, they will take it alternatively. Today they will take three petitions, that of uh, AA, APM and Labour Party, while tomorrow they will take that of um, PDP and APP. So today so far the AA withdrew their petition, uh, reasons were not given, but what we heard was the fact that the candidate that was recognized by INEC, the presidential candidate participated in the election, told the court that he did not file any petition against uh, the president-elect or the outcome of the 2023 presidential election. Although the petition that was before this court, that filed by AA, has to do with uh, unlawful exclusion of a, of a particular candidate from the presidential election. But due to the preliminary objections filed by other parties, the INEC, the PDP, the APC, he got the hint that uh, that was a pre-election matter and ought not to be brought before the tribunal. So hence, he withdrew his uh, petition and the court struck it out. So, so far now, the court is hearing the application of the APP, and that, after that, we'll take that to the Labour Party. All right. We understand the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter O'B, is there in court, or at the tribunal, rather, and uh, also the governor of uh, Plateau State, who was the director general of the APC Presidential Campaign Council, is there. Uh, who else is there at the court for you to let us know? Okay, yes, um, we have a chairman of political, various political parties that filed a petition there in court. And also, we also have a federal commission of INEC. Uh, she also is in court. We know after the presidential election, cause of action arose for these political parties when uh, Ashwajib Bola Ahmed was declared the winner of the presidential election. And due to the cause of action arising after the declaration of uh, Ashwajib, uh, Political parties filed their petition, where they have 180 days to do so, which is six months. And before today, they've been filing, and part of the respondents have been responding. So this took a while. Uh, that was why the commencement of the sitting started a bit late, but it's still within time, as prescribed by the Electoral Act. We understand today is just the pre-hearing uh, activities or the sessions. Uh, when will the listening to the substantive cases begin? Okay, well, it's more like the inaugural sitting. This is the first time the chairman of the panel gave his inaugural speech, advised all parties that they should be cautious of what they brought bef bring before the court and to ensure that speedy dispensation is done to these cases. And continuing to these election petitions are time-bound. All uh, parties involved, represented by the council, will identify their processes, uh, the petitions, the preliminary objection and responses, their yeah, affidavits. Uh, so we are yet to know if all these applications came through which of summons where witnesses will be called for pleadings because most of these petitioners alleged various issues during the presidential election from malpractice to voter inducement and suppression and all of that. So after parties and all the petitions have identified their processes, hearing can commence proper. So I'm hoping that from next tomorrow, maybe probably Wednesday, because tomorrow the court will also take that off the PDP and the APM. So hopefully Wednesday, it's going to fully kickstart and we'll know how the court goes from there. All right. Thank you very much, Celestina, our judiciary correspondent, for bringing us up to speed on this. Thank you.